everybody. Happy holidays to you all. Well, maybe some of you don't deserve that, so fuck you the ones who don't deserve it, but the rest of you, hello. So tonight's movie is Better Watch Out for good reason. So a babysitter who obviously should have stayed home decides that she's back in town for the holidays and she's going to babysit a kid that she babysat for a while when she was still in high school, but now she's in college. So she goes to babysit this young man who is obviously a little shit. So him and his friend had already decided before she came that they were going to post like fake a break in of a killer in the house so that he could try to mac on her. He wanted to get some. He wanted to be the hero. He tried to hit on her while they were eating pizza. He tried to drink wine and be an adult. Like he he's he would he was trying to get, you know, trying to get her pants. So the age would be like maybe he's like twelve and she's about twenty. Yo. Anyhow, she was very against the idea, so then they had to go with this break-in thing, and she got really scared, and then she found out that he had, you know, posted this, it was a fake thing, and she got really upset. Then he invited her boyfriend over there and started torturing him and ended up pulling a Home Alone with the can of paint and smashed his face in. So obviously this kid is a sick fuck. His friend doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. But he won't let his friend go, so he doses him with a bunch of drugs so his friend can't go because his friend was scared and would, didn't want to do it. So then he invites another one of her boyfriends over, or an ex-boyfriend, and he hangs him from a tree. This kid had it all like extremely well planned out for being that young. I mean, I can barely plan out what to do with a day of my life. This kid had it thoroughly planned out while his parents were gone. So as the night proceeds, he's gotten her duct taped to a chair, he tortures her, he touches one of her boobies, he, he just really, he, he shoots his friend with a gun in front of her, she's terrified. He thinks he killed her, he cleans up all the mess, and then he goes and acts like he's asleep. When his parents get home, it looks like the boyfriends showed up at the same time and killed everybody, and it was a big, you know, massacre, and he was asleep in his bed the whole time. But then as it all ends, he sees the babysitter is alive and being loaded into an ambulance and she gives him one of these. One of these. One of these. We, and that moment made that movie so good. So good. I mean, I wish she would have cut his little 12-year-old pecker off, but we can't all have what we want for Christmas, can we? Great movie. Great movie, though. What a little sicko. Poor guy. His parents can't see that in him? I don't understand. How do you not know you have a psychopath child? Anyhow, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and of course, sweet nightmares, everybody.